What is going on guys, Espionage Mike here, and today we are bringing you another UFC 3 career mode. I'm enjoying it so far. I haven't wanted to give up yet. So like we left off last time, we are about to set, accept the only fight offer we have, which is against Carl Bennett, who it's looking like is going to be less of a challenge than my last opponent, because I actually have better striking and better health than this guy. We're taking it on three weeks notice. Um, once again, it's 600 for a win and a thousand no 600 for show and a thousand for win So we're gonna go ahead and accept this fight <clears throat> And we'll see what we can do against this guy right now. We got we're sitting on eight thousand two hundred dollars with 35 fans We got 35 Twitter followers yo. All right So once again the contract goals should be the same two fights in a row. So I gotta win one more by stoppage and then uh, No win two fights by row and then the two fights by stoppage apparently I already failed that one. So whatever and uh, we're going to go ahead and schedule the camp. What should I do? This is a free one. Um, I don't think I'm sitting at a very good... I don't think I'm sitting on a very good cardio right now. So I think I might want to actually pay for a gym this time. But what are we going to do? Are we going to go for a boxer's gym, a jiu-jitsu gym, or a wrestling gym? I think it's a good foundation to have with wrestling. Good takedown defense good takedown offense and um i think stamina would be I'm, i think i'm gonna do the wrestling gym or you want to become a member of this gym for three thousand dollars you would lose all bonuses from previous gym um it was my basement gym anyway so with not a big deal all right here we go we're in frc legion a wrestling club with french roots the frc legion attracts people of all walks of life because of their affordable rates three thousand dollars a week you telling me is affordable Oh no, $600, so it's like $3,000 a month or something. Uh, affordable rates, but also means finding quality sparring partners and training time is difficult. Aw. If you have the patience and don't mind waiting for your turn to practice, it's a great bargain at the price. Hey! Our right, gym rewards. What's the gym rewards? Oh, and Muay Thai combos level 1. I'm down with that. Elbows and knees and whatnot. Nice trips and whatever. I'm down. Let's go. Weeks of training. Ooh, okay, so we can... We're already doing short weeks notice. Let's do three weeks of training. That takes us down 1,800. Not bad, not bad, I would say. Ooh, Todd Green. Todd Green, WFA. Hey, ESP Micro. You've been killing in the WFA. Dana White will be scouting talent on the Looking for a Fight TV show. That's how Sage Northcutt was found. That's how Mickey Gall was found. I'm down. Um, At your next fight, put a show on, kid. Put on a show, kid. This could be your ticket to the UFC. Oh, baby. About to break into the UFC on my third professional fight. Let's get it. I'll worry about that after my fight. I'll do my absolute best to impress. No doubt this will be an easy path to the UFC. I'm not that cocky. Let's do. I'll do my best to impress. Cause that's what I'm trying. I'm gonna go in there and try and finish. I'm gonna go in there and try and finish. Ooh, trophy here in UFC 47. It's on. UFC 47. What is that? I don't wait. What? Okay, so this dude's record is 12 and 3. He's not bad. Edit perks. So I have any perks? I think you gotta learn them at gyms, right? So I'm not quite there yet. Not quite there. Uh, let's see what I can do in terms of my training camp. And then I also want to promote this fight since Dana White's going to be there. Um, sparring? I think sparring is the best way to get your fitness up, right? I do know a little bit about the career mode. Not a ton. Ooh, I could learn moves and perks. I think I'm going to do... How many points do I have? So I have 100 points. I think I'm going to learn moves. I'm going to promote... Uh, hmm, what should I do? Learn moves. Spar. Train and promote. We can do at least one promotion. Let me spar before anything. Just to try and get my... Uh... Oh, will not allow you to spar at low fitness. Okay. So I should uh, train a little bit before I can spar. And I won't w worry about learning more uh, more moves. Okay, so what's my lowest? My lowest is striking, actually. Wow, so I should actually... I should have joined a boxing gym. Oh, well. What's going to help my striking? Anything... It's a wrestling gym, so I doubt much. Strike speed, that. Strike stamina. So non-contact kickboxing, obviously. Footwork, bottom game, toughness, heart, chin strength, leg strength. I think non-contact kickboxing is going to be best right now. So moderate fitness. So now I'll spend 40 off 30 left. So I'll, remember to, I'll be able to promote once and then do some more training. Let's do that. All right, practice against a training partner in your gym who will who will emulate your upcoming opponent. Gain fitness for spar uh, for time spent sparring. 
Fitness is lost when sustaining a health event. Oh, no. Each sparring session will last one minute. A key to victory will be revealed for your upcoming fight. Let's do it, man. Let's spar. Submission specialist. Oh, this guy's a submission specialist. Keeping submission escape progress. Hint. Some submission gates will keep their escape progress. Move at least three gates halfway to keep the most amount of progress when entering the gate. Okay, I definitely... If he's a submission specialist, I don't want to be on the ground with him. That's for damn sure. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and spar a little bit. Now right, come on. I need to throw at you to get my fitness up. Come on, baby. That's right, I blocked him. Let me get my fitness up, baby. Let me get my fitness up. Is my fitness even going up? It's going up a little bit, but I just need to... I need to throw, right? That's how I... That's how I get fitness, is by throwing. Yo, dude! Alright, this guy's hands are pretty nice, too. He's a striking specialist or whatever, but... All right, so I gained... <laughs> Let me just throw, because I gained... Oh, it's it's a time-based thing, I think. Not a... Uh, how much I throw. I stuffed that takedown, baby. I stuffed that takedown, baby. Nope, nope, nope. I ain't, I ain't grappling with you. I ain't grappling with you. Nope. Okay, I guess I am grappling with you, you bitch. Did I block it? I didn't block it. That's unfortunate. This is a wrestling gym, though, so... That was supposed to be... Okay, if you find yourself in a sprawl position after defending a takedown, your opponent cannot escape a necktie submission if they're, it's there if you need it. What? <laughs> if you wait, Let me read that. If you find yourself in a sprawl position after defending a takedown, your opponent cannot escape a necktie submission. I, I wish... Do I have... Do I have a necktie? Do I have a Peruvian necktie or a Japanese necktie in my arsenal? I seriously doubt that. I seriously doubt I do. Alright, let me promote the next fight and then I'll have 20 to spend on training. Alright, post to social media. Oh, it's 30. Wait. Oh no, that's how much I have left. Okay, yeah, let me post to social media. Because that's always a good thing. So high for my fight. Training hard. Alright, sweet. Now I have 20 points. Now here, do I do two tens? Here's takedown. Grappling stamina. Submission. Sprawl and shoot is 20. So take down defense, take down grappling stamina. Oh, this is submission defense. My grappling stamina is a little bit lower. Take down defense. I think I'm going to do two wrestling 101s. Bottom game, footwork, take down, blocking, bottom game. Oh, my bottom game is pretty weak, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to do two wrestling 101s just because I want my submission defense to be up there. I don't want to be over there getting submitted by everyone go against tony ferguson or something and get destroyed even though he's a 155er we'll see what happens though there's a possible he'll move up keep going at esp micro the more you sweat less you bleed and that's from sebastian del charge are these real people or are these just made up people all right let's go it's time to fight baby it's time to fight oh that was only week one okay well i'm gonna do kind of more of the same and then um i'll see you guys in the fight all right, so I just learned a new move. Uh, I had to land three ground and pound strikes from the back mount or the, the back side. Um, so I got wrestling sweeps to level two, and I got a new perk called crushing presence, level one. So I'm going to apply the moves, which is, uh, what was the moves? What move did I learn? It was ground and pound, right? So ground and pound, sweeps. Um... Okay, intermediate wrestling sweeps. Nice. So I'll be able to transition more smoothly on the ground. Okay. That's all I learned there. And then I also got new perks, which is Crushing Presence. Number one. Actually, where is it? There it is. Level one. Reduce, reduces opponent's stamina when you are in a top ground position. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. All right. There we go. I think that was my... Whoa. What's that screen? That was a trippy screen. All right, so that was the second week. I'm going to finish up the third week, and then I'll see you guys once again in the fight. Hey, kid, good luck in your fight. Make sure you put on a show for the Looking for a Fight crew. Hey, Matt Sarah tweeted at me. Let's go. Let's go, boy. Anyway, let's get it. Okay, so I have a uh, fight bonus for your last. Uh, so that's uh, stats and rankings. Get fans hyped for your upcoming fight, and I did that twice, baby. Hopefully, it'll go. It, it, it's that low. It's not that very low. Let's get it. All right, we moved up. 
We moved up a little bit. People are a little bit more excited for this fight. All right, Richard Ramirez is my... Oh, my mom. Yo, mom, thanks. You've worked so hard. Go out there and show that Mr. Dana White man what you've got. Get it. Give Dana choice. Uh, give Dana White no choice but to give you a shot in the UFC. Oh, baby, I'm, I'm ready for the UFC. I think I was like over 100%. Oh. Hey, I'm UFC President Dana White. Yes, I know who you are. And we're always looking for up-and-coming talent to sign. Back in the day, I used to scout the world looking for new talent. But I haven't done that in years. I'm looking for the next Ronda Rousey, the Ooh. next Robbie Lawler, the next Conor McGregor. I'm looking for future champions. And oh, I'm, I'm the next Robbie. Any show, anywhere in the world to find it. Come right here, Dana. I don't know where this is. This fight's being held, but right here. Talent on tonight's card. A lot of tough fighters. Let's see who really wants their shot at the UFC. It's me, baby. It's me, Dana. It's me, Dana. Let's get it. I'm going to do the Mickey Gall and call out CM Punk. Call out Floyd Mayweather for an MMA fight. All right, I probably should have paid attention more right there. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't see what the hell. I think he was taller than me. Everyone's been taller than me, damn. All right, Herb, let's get it. It didn't sound anything like Herb. Oh, I hear Dana White. Oh! That was not over the top. What are you talking about, Matt Sarah? There we go. Damn, I can't connect. Alright, this guy's running away, just like the first guy I fought. This oh! Oh, shit, I should have caught. Okay, this guy's putting out a little bit more. Damn! That's right, I caught your bitch ass. Oh, look at that. That head movement. How come they're saying shit when he hits me, but not when I hit him? Oh, I got that elbow? Oh, you're gonna grab that. Oh, okay, come on. Oh, I missed it. Oh, damn. They want me to lose this fight, don't they? They really do want me to lose this fight. Take it. Let's go. Blocked it. Oh, dude, if I had a necktie, that's it. That was a necktie. You can't escape it, but I don't have a necktie. I feel like they gave me that tip on purpose just to piss me off. Maybe if I'd have joined a BJJ gym, I could have got a necktie. But I don't, so I couldn't. <laughs> I love that when they say kill that guy. It's like, that's so harsh. Oh, we both threw a kick at the... Nope, nope, nope. Oh, come on, I defended that. You know I defended that. You know I defended that. All right, no, let me get up. Let me get up. Half guard, let me get up. Let me get up. There we go. We're up, baby. We're up. Let's go. Boom. There we go. I'm landing. I'm landing at will. I'm circling towards his power hand, which is not good. Nope, 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 nope. Yes, I am. Oh, snap. Dude, what are you... Oh, damn. He keeps hitting me with that body kick. Nope, I defended. I defended. Come on, baby. Boom! He's rocked. He's rocked. Come on, he's rocked. Oh, I gotta take him out. Oh, you gotta catch the kick. Oh, okay, that time it was my fault. Nope, I defended. I defended. My reaction time's too great for you, Bennett. Buddy old pal. And I caught your kick. Oh, damn. He threw immediately. All right, Matt, Sarah, you got to calm down, bro. It wasn't that exciting. Oh. Oh, okay. Keep that head movement going. <laughs> oh, I tripped him. Oh, what? I didn't even get a... He really is. My dude isn't strong enough still to knock people out. I defended. I de Come on, I defended that and you know it. Yeah, man. Look at the transitions, my dude. Back mount, back mount, back mount. Okay, I don't want to stay on the ground with this guy. I don't want to stay on the ground with this guy. He's clearly better than me. He has that. I think he has the perk on where if I miss a transition, it takes away extra stamina. Because I went from full stamina to zero stamina. Damn. I didn't put enough pressure. I didn't put enough pressure on him. Oh, you're going to keep going at me? 
Oh, you were just hurt. That what? Was, was he not just hurt and then recovered like instantly? I blocked it. Yo, give me these. It's not giving me the defenses. No, we'll take an arm. He ain't submitting me. He will not submit me. I refuse to let him submit me. There we go. Come on. Oh, we both. Why did my guy faint a kick and he threw a kick? What kind of bullshit is that? Oh, no. You got to move your head faster. Oh, this is a good fight. I'm glad this guy. Oh, I knocked him down. Hit him with that uppercut. I'm glad this guy is coming to fight, though. It's not just. I defended, defended, defended. Boy, get off me. If I had a necktie once again, let me stand up. Wait, why am I why am I standing southpaw? What am I doing? Why did my guy stand southpaw all of a sudden? Oh, he got me in the face. Oh! Oh, y'all saw that? I hella dodged that punch. Damn. Nope, nope. Get off me, boy. My reaction time's too quick for you, dog. My reaction time's way too quick for you, dumbass. Oh! The head movement's on point, boy! The head movement's on point, boy! I'm like, oh, what? I'm Muhammad Ali and I'm just, what? Oh, what? Try and hit me, dog. I'm Muhammad Ali in his ass. No corner advice? I didn't hear nothing. I didn't hear no corner advice. Here we go. This will not go to a decision. Oh, you hear that? He said if I win this fight, he's going to bring me in. All right, all right. This use teeing off. This use teeing off. Oh, got a toe to the eye. Oh, come on. You got to catch the kick. There we go. Oh, I knocked him down again. This is where I got to keep it up. We got to keep it up. Keep the pressure. Get the stamina back. Get the stamina back. As soon as the stamina comes back, throw. There we go. If it does go... Nope, I defended it. There we go. It's over. You heard him. You heard Matt Sarah, boy. It's over. Oh! Yo, you can't kick him in the face when he's down. What are you doing? That was a nice. Okay, he has me on the back leg. I gotta... I bet, I bet you you won't expect this, right? I bet you you won't... Okay, there we go. He's kicking me in the body. Hold on, hold on. I bet you you won't expect this. Watch. Oh, going... Oh, not a good idea. I missed my takedown. Oh, snap. Y'all yeah, been training at a wrestling gym. I will take your dumb ass down. There we go. Oh, is that it? Let me ground and pound his dumb ass. Yeah! Winner by TKO. Dana, sign me. Sign me right here, right now. You said you would. Sign me right now. You said you would. Do it. Do it. Am I going to talk to Dana? What's good? What's good? What's going to happen? Winner by TKO, baby. I'll take the TKO. It's technically a knockout. <laughs> That's what it stands for. Get it? Come on, baby. Come on! Winner by knockout. Am I going to get signed? Am I going to get signed? That's what you said, Dana. Knocked him down four times. I threw 220. That's that's where it is right there. I got to throw more strikes. I got to throw more strikes. All right, let's see what happens. Two fights in a row. My longevity barely went down. I love it. 2,500 fans gained. I love it. An impressive win against the tough opponent. I'm in. We're going to give him a shot in the UFC. Oh, what's up, boy? Dana White's going to give me a shot in the UFC. That's what I'm talking about, dog. Can't wait to see you in the UFC. Hey, thanks, Allies. I appreciate it, homie. One of the best in the world. He proved it tonight. I don't know about that. I don't think I'm one of the best in the world quite yet. We'll see, though. We'll see. Oh, boy. Who, who do I got? Carl Barnett. Hey, ESP Marker, I'm coming for you. We'll, you'll see this face soon. Boy, I just saw your face when I put approximately 12 to 13 right hands into your temple while your head was on the mat, boy. Hope you can make it to the big leagues. Uh, hope you can make it to the big leagues, and we'll, we'll throw we'll throw down again in the UFC, boy. We'll throw down again in the UFC. Contract earned. How many fights? 7.6 million. Five fight contract. Okay. Win all fights by stoppage. I've done it so far. Hey. Let's do it. 
Accept it. What is there even an option to not accept it? The American Dream UFC 3. Here we go. Contract goals. So Carl Barnett, the guy I just whooped his ass, is my rival because <laughs> he sucks. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm down to fight this mofo again. Simulate that recovery. I'm going to go train up. I think I'm going to stay at the same gym, work on my wrestling a little bit. And uh, actually, wait, hold on. Fight. Who, who, who the fight? Who are my fighting offers here? People I know from the UFC? Steven Miles again. I already beat his ass. Um, Ryder Reed. My grappling's better than his. My stamina's better than his. Um, or Benny Munoz. He's 15 and 3. My striking. Really, any of these people. I'm not going to take this because it's very low. Nobody wants to see that rematch. Um, 8 and 2. 13,000, 10,000. Damn, I get more to show than I am to win. I don't even think it matters at this point, right? This one's higher up, so I'm going to accept this one with Ryder Reed. And, um... Oh, is USC Fight Night 111 undercard? Eh. Whatever, we'll accept this fight. I think I'm going to stick with the same gym. I'm going to go ahead and promote the fight and all that good stuff. And I'll, I'll see you guys if anything different happens oh okay hold up carl burnett hey i told you i'm coming for you just signed my ufc contract how i just beat your ass huh let me see if that fight alpha will uh fight alpha will run it back the only reason no one's because i fought you nah i ain't a cocky son of a bitch let me see that come on let me see that fight contract rematch you dumbass all right so it looks like i get to pick some uh some shorts some shorts on this one um i'm away national that's what it gave me by default all right, so for the training, I learned some ground and pound. I got stronger ground and pound. Um, I had to skip like a week of training because I got overtrained. Uh, Dana White goes looking for a fighter and finds Richard Ramirez, baby. It's actually Guerrero, but we'll ignore that. Exciting Walter Ray, Richard Ramirez was clearly on the fast track to a UFC contract from the start of his pro MMA career as he tore through all the local opposition. The buzz quickly got to UFC president Dana White, and soon enough, White was on his way with Matt Serra, Dean Thomas, on the looking for a fight crew to see if this prospect was for real, which I was. He was, and soon, Ramirez makes his long-awaited Octagon debut. That shit's got 220 views. Let's get it. All right, so like I was saying, I had to promote this fight a lot and skip a week because I was overtrained. My peak fitness, it went way above. It was like 120%. Okay. UFC returns this weekend with a fresh face who is destined to make headlines. Ding. When UFC president Dana White went looking for a fight, he was hoping that he would end up with a future UFC star. And those are the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated I wasn't a the champion. welterweight circuit en route to his octagon debut this weekend. Oh, look at me That's looking mad mugging people. Next UFC minute, and I got you, Megan. At the fights. Coming up next, a UFC oh, we got commentators now. Let's get it. Is that me coming out? Is that me coming out? Oh, that's me, baby. Oh, I'm watching the whole thing, man. This is my USC debut. Let's go. Got the ground and pound stoppage. I'm in that wrestling gym. You already know. Ah. Nah. Currently undefeated. Three fights in a row by KO. Three fights in career. Accurate. If there's an adrenaline dump early, that could be an advantage for No, no adrenaline dump. Just a disclaimer too, I have not lost and like restarted a match. Like I know some people I literally just haven't restarted a fight. What you guys have seen is what I've done. If I lose, I lose. It's whatever. Oh, there's Dana White. I see his dumbass. I don't know why I said dumbass. I don't think Dana White's dumb. So I heard that Joe Rogan like didn't want to record commentary for this game. So they kind of just like took excerpts from his like his actual commentary. Sounds pretty cool, I guess. He's from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So am I. I'm a well-rounded mofo. Oh, he's won four of last six fights by KO. 
This guy is extremely well rounded. His so am I, baby. Class. His striking is excellent. And he is extremely unpredictable in what attack he chooses to go with. That's fine. That's fine. I'm ready. So apparently, he doesn't know how to defend against a Kimura. Um, I don't have a Kimura, so it's not really helpful. And apparently, he's going to try and run at me and elbow my ass. That's what the sparring session told me. Or tail of the tape for this welterweight fight. 24. He's 6'3. I'm 5'11. I thought I made myself 6 foot. Oh, well. Similar reach. similar reach. Oh, I got a longer reach, so let's get it. I see you, Bruce. Why aren't you moving your mouth, Bruce? That's kind of weird. I'm kind of short for welterweight, I guess, right? Oh, yo, I see. I got that American flag on my chest with the eagle. I didn't even notice that. Eight and two. That's a knock you out, boy. The can. Psh, psh. I'm about to destroy that cannon. Big Dan. Oh, I'm ready, Dan. You know what I haven't seen? I haven't seen Big John McCarthy in this game. Did they actually take him out of the game once he once he accepted that contract to Bellator? I mean, I guess he's technically not a, a sanctioned referee anymore. I mean, he still is. He's just going to not do it right now because he's color commentator for Bellator. Oh, here we go. We're going to have some commentators in the background now. All right, this guy doesn't seem to be doing nothing so far. They said his submissions are world class, so I don't really know if I want to take him down. All the new moves I've learned so far are on the ground, though. Kick him in the body. Oh, look at that! Jab to the body, then came up with that hook. Yo, he's trying to spin on me. Mm, just out of range, just out of range. Do it again, he said. I miss again. Oh, I should have caught that. Should have caught that. Damn. I'm moving, I'm moving. Oh, snap. I don't like fighting other orthodox fighters. Just because it's weird to circle this way. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, he caught me with that hook. Oh, yeah, we go. There we go. My hand speed is off the charts, baby. Oh, dang, I caught that. Come on. Oh, there we go. Caught him in the face. Throw a body shot. I got you. Oh, the head movement's from point, dog. Oh, I tried using that dominant cruise step to get in. There we go. There we go. Oh, he caught me with that spinning back fist. Come on. All right, come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my new, my new moves into effect. But oh, snap, never mind. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh, he fainted it. There we go. He fainted it. I'm winning this round so far. So, take you down, take you down. There we go. Come on, get him down, get him down. Train at a wrestling gym. That's what I do for a living. I wrestle, apparently. That's the fight. <laughs> That's the decision I'm taking with my fighter, I guess. Oh, he's let me punch him. He's let me punch him, yo. Protect yourself. Oh, the ground and pound. The ground and pound. I am a wrestling god. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. I was really glad I so I didn't throw any elbows and no hammer fists, so don't know what you were watching, John. Take a look at this from a different angle. Boom. Boom. Put him out, baby. Put him out. Hit him with the lefts and rights, baby. Yeah. 
and a seminal moment for him here in the octagon tonight. Now, what I think the algorithm in this game is, is if you're at a wrestling gym and you train your wrestling, you're going to have a big advantage on the wrestling unless you're facing like a DC or something. Very first round. Yeah, I wish they would call me Warrior. <laughs> oh, yes, I did, baby. There we go, baby. Let's celebrate with my team. I owe it to you, coach. You taught me that ground and pound. Let's go. Let's go. Watch the whole way through. We got to take an Instagram picture. It was good. All right. Damn, I threw 137 strikes in that time. I took him down once, and that's all I needed. 15 seconds on the ground with him. That's all I needed. Let's see. Round one. Stamina health. Oh, snap. Judge scoring. It didn't even really matter. What's, what's good, though? Like, what's actually good? Oh, there we go. The goat progress. Oh, damn. Damn. Oh, I got 27... 23.7 followers. Hey, hey. Let's get it. Longevity barely worked out. Damn. Almost 23,000 fans like that. 23,000 buckaroos. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's a bit of a longer episode. That's fine. That's fine. One punch is all it takes when Micro is in the octagon. Great KO tonight. Nice fight on your... Uh, nice fight for your debut. Congrats, Eddie Wineland. Pretty sure he's a real guy. Meh, I've seen better debuts. You're no big deal. Terrell Peterson, go suck a dick. You suck. Come here, step in the octagon with me then. Megan O'Leary, impressive win, Micro. Where did you? Where do you go next? Hashtag humbled. Thanks, Megan. I'm gonna keep working hard and doing my best to get better. I'm ready for the big time. Bring on the best. Yeah, I'm gonna go cocky on that one. I'm gonna go cocky on that one. I'm ready for the best. That doesn't seem too cocky. I'm ready for the best. Come on, then. Come on. All right, simulate the f simulate the recovery, and who I, who do I got next up on deck? More than one person this time. So I got Diego Ribeiro. I got Austin Webb. Or Benny Munoz again. Four weeks, four weeks. This is very low, so I'm not going to take that. This is low. We'll decide on the next episode, guys, who I'm going to fight next. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the stream video god damn one day i won't say stream thank you so much for tuning into the video if you did enjoy feel free to drop the hot thumbs up subscribe if you are new to the channel and as always guys let your people know that micro is still out here throwing the hands and i will see you guys on the next video guys peace out